Yo, what's going down, guys? Talk Narcissus here, back for another video. Today, with a bit of transfer news, Robert Snodgrass, as expected, has joined Hull on a three year deal, a rumour to be around seven to eight million pounds, which I can't believe we got that much money for him. I know he's a fantastic player, he won our player of the season last year, and he makes things happen. That's what any Premier League team wants their players to have, they want them to, to change games, and Snodgrass done that. He's got a lot of very important goals for us last season and done good things. But £8 million, rumoured to be around that value, is a fantastic deal for Norwich. I mean, we can go out and sign two, three quality players, ch quality championship players with that kind of money and really strengthen our squad where we need to, like the right-back position, maybe a centre-back and maybe an attacking midfielder. Now, what I was interested in is if you guys thought that we need to replace Snodgrass in the transfer window or keep what we've got because we have got a lot of wingers at the club. Now, the response was fairly divided. A lot of people saying that we needed to go out and get some players. Uh, people saying the likes of Jesse Lingard on loan, Ruben Rashina, um, Thomas Rogic, players mm -hmm. like that who are proven to, to do well in the championship. But also... We've got the likes of Redmond, the Murphys, Bennett in our team who can make things happen. Personally, I'd stick with the players we've got in the team and give them more experience and let them prosper rather than going out and signing a player, another winger. What I would do is keep the, the, the wingers we have and then go out and sign players where we really need them, like the centre attack in midfield, maybe right back and if Olsen leaves in the left back position. I really think that Redmond is going to have a fantastic season next year. He didn't really hit the ground running last year. When he scored that goal against Southampton, we all thought he'd go on to, to score a lot of goals and make things happen. He didn't really get the chance. It was always going to be a tough in a, in a very defensive-minded Norwich team. But next season, under a new manager, I'm really hoping that Redmond will step things up. Also, the Murphys, two very exciting players who I'm really looking forward to see have more of a chance. Josh Murphy's already had a lot of Premier League experience. And when he played against Championship opposition last year, on his debut against Watford, he scored that absolute screamer. I think the Murphys are going to have a fantastic year this year. Snodgrass, he's going to be a big miss. He was a big character to have, lots and lots of passion. Some of the fans didn't like him because of the uh, dis, um, disruption he had with the snake pit against Newcastle last year. That was gone. It was just the passion he had. He's a fantastic player. Hull have got a great player on their hands. But we've also got a very good amount of money out of this deal. Very impressed with the board's dealings. It'll be interesting to see where we go in the transfer window from now, if we're going to sign another winger or if we're going to keep what we've got. Anyway, let me uh, know what you guys think in the comments. Do we need to sign another winger to replace Snodgrass or keep the likes of Redmond and the Murphy Twins to give them the playing experience they deserve? Also, thank you so, so much for all of your emails and all of your support with the Caro crowd. Uh, I'm trying to respond to all of the emails very um, thoroughly. So if you haven't got a response yet, I will be sending one in the next couple of days. Um, keep following the Caro crowd on Twitter and subscribe on YouTube. Big, big things happening over there. Um, and also subscribe to my channel if you're new. The only place to be for Norwich City content, really. Thanks for watching, guys, and peace out.